Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, my name is Binishia. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am a makeup artist and if you are new to my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Everybody literally in my comment section in that hair video which blew up asked me this one question. What is my hair care routine? And most of you have also asked me like, how to get hair like you so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys all the things i do to take care of my hair so if you are interested then please keep on watching so another most asked question in my video was what was my hair cut so i have got feather layered cut and i got it from green trends or naturals i don't remember exactly where i had my last hair cut so usually these are the two places which I visit to trim my hair and I trim my hair every three months cause I have super super dry frizzy and unmanageable hair and in a span of like two to three months I get a lot of split ends. So that's why I always make sure that I get a haircut at least once in three months. So the next thing is your hair mainly depends on your genes yes that is true we all know all the fancy fancy products that is there out in the market which claims to give us gorgeous looking hair just in a matter of like a month or two but trust me guys that is just not the case our hair mainly mainly depends on our genes like whatever issues our parents had we are definitely gonna have it so for example i have super frizzy dry unmanageable hair and all this you see is only after heat styling so my hair is exactly like as of my mom and my mom definitely has very very thick hair compared to me so i have definitely got this hair from her now let's get into some truth about the hair so our hair is actually dead i am not sure if you are going to believe this but our hair does not have any living cells in it so once the hair follicle is pushed out of the skin or the scalp there are no active cells in it so everything is dead so let's remember this so whatever hair you have right now is dead so what you can do is you can just maintain the hair but you can't totally alter the texture of the hair so in order to alter the texture of your hair what you have to do is you have to repair it from internally so that is there are a lot of things which you can do which internally produces good hair, good strong healthy hair but that cannot be monitored by products. Of course products work but it is only 20%. Yes, it is only 20% that really works on the external part of it. So if you really want to have to address some um, hair issues then you have to take some steps to uh, ensure that it is internally repaired and your body starts to produce healthy strong and good hair so i personally like washing my hair only twice a week because the more i wash my hair gets even more and more dry i don't want that to happen so i have come to a point where i only wash my hair once in four days so that way my hair is a lot more healthy and shiny. So for all of you who said that you wanted to have hair like me, trust me guys, this is only after a lot and lot of heat on my hair, not my natural hair definitely. So in my childhood, even I had suffered a lot with hair. Like my hair used to be like a big poof and everybody used to make fun of my hair. It was also called as coconut husk and it looked like straw and it looked like a fiber whatever so i had dealt with all those things in my childhood even in my college i didn't know how to take care of my hair and it was just a poof ball okay yeah coming back i have learned how to take care of my hair how to manage the frizz and remove the frizz and just get smooth silky hair but it does require a lot of extra strips and trust me guys it damages your hair so much because keeping heat on a dry frizzy hair will make the condition even more worse so i use a lot of stuffs like uh, deep conditioning masks and everything to take care of my hair because i put a lot of heat on my hair 
and that is also one main reason why i have to trim my hair every 3 months so now let's get into detail of what all things i do internally as well as externally to take care of my hair so now i'll share with you guys all the lifestyle changes that i made which really had a huge role in my hair so the first thing is to sleep on time i used to be a night owl like literally i can't sleep before 2 or 3 am which sometimes i still do the same mistake but but i somehow try to get back to the routine of sleeping on time and waking up on a proper time and make sure that you sleep at least 7 to 8 hours a day for your hair to be super gorgeous and shiny and the second most important thing is healthy eating so whatever you are going to take inside you whatever food you have will definitely reflect on the hair okay so suppose if you had like a month of time where you did not have like a proper diet it is not going to reflect on that month but if it will definitely reflect one or two months later you will have immense hair fall by the time you would have altered all your food habits and everything but you will not even know why the hair fall is happening that is because you do not have a proper intake of food during like you know two or three months before and another most important thing is to drink lots and lots and lots of water your hair is mainly made up of three substances that is lipids water and also protein so make sure that you have lots and lots of water so if you're someone like me who has this issue of dry hair and everything make sure that you drink at least 2 to 3 liters of water per day that will definitely help you in um, you know at least reducing some percentage of dryness from your hair and another most important thing what i wanted to share it with you guys is if you're going out like normally we put sunscreen for our face to protect our skin but we don't do anything for our hair our hair does not have any sunscreen so make sure that whenever you're going out to cover up your hair that way you're reducing your hair from uh, sun damage which is very important i have actually seen a major difference in um, covering up my hair whenever i'm going out this is actually reducing a lot and lot of frizz from my hair so make sure you also follow it and you'll definitely find a no the big difference so when it comes to food make sure that you eat a lot of green vegetables a lot of nuts and a lot of mushrooms green vegetables spinach beans and all that important grains that is very very good for your hair so another most important thing that will help you in hair growth is having curry leaf juice so take this much of curry leaves make a juice out of it and drink it without sugar or salt you will definitely find a difference in like a matter of 2 to 3 months the hair that is going to grow it will definitely reflect in you know showing the difference of how it is before and after you have tried curry leaves juice also if you're someone who has a lot of hair loss or something just go and check with the doctor if you have any deficiencies because there are chances that uh, you might be having some or the other deficiency and that is why all the hair loss is happening hair loss could happen because of health issues hormonal imbalance deficiencies stress and if you are in some medications you might that could also be a reason why your hair is falling and sometimes it could be genetics also also when it comes to hair loss shredding 50 to 100 strands of hair per day is completely normal our hair will go through a shedding phase so it's okay if 50 to 100 strands of hair is falling off every single day that does not count into having hair loss so now let's move on to all the products that i use on my hair to maintain it so if you want to have beautiful hair make sure that you eat healthy and do all the changes internally so that it reflects on your hair at the same time if you want to maintain this from the external then these are all the steps that i personally follow so since i've already told you guys i suffer with a lot of dandruff i don't really prefer using hair oils much on my hair cause i always feel that every time i use hair oil or something on my scalp it just makes the condition even more worse like my scalp gets super itchy and there is a lot more flakes compared to what it was before so i don't really prefer having hair oils on my hair but since my hair is super dry 
I take very little amount of coconut oil and just apply it to this ends where it is super dry and maybe leave it on for like uh, an hour or two before washing but I prefer using neem hair oil especially from Kama Ayurveda on my hair every time I use neem oil I definitely feel a lot of difference in my uh, scalp condition for dandruff so now let's get started to how I use this hair oil. So I've transferred the oil onto a spray container bottle and before oiling hair I would like to take my comb and remove all the knots and tangles on my hair that way I save a lot of hair breakage or uh, prevent it from hair loss. Then I apply the hair oil by sections. So I roughly divide my hair into sections and then spray or roots so that way there is not much wasted oil and it is acting only on the spots that it is supposed to work. So in this case it is only my scalp. I don't like oil on my hair because this oil is a lit little bit concentrated so that, that way for it to apply it only on my scalp. And while doing this, I ensure that all my areas in my scalp is completely covered with the oil and I don't leave on any spot. And please note that this is how I do my oiling routine for my hair and there's no right and wrong. You can do whatever works for you. So I'm just sharing you guys what I do because a lot of you had requested me to share my hair care routine. So now over the years I have tried and tested out a lot of hair oils which claim to say it prevents hair loss, uh, premature greying and all that and I've come to a conclusion where you know I started to believe that hair oils is gonna work only as a lubricant while you massage your scalp so that way there is more blood circulation on the scalp and your roots are like activated. Other than that I really don't feel hair oils do a lot on my hair. So this is my personal experience but only neem oils I feel work a little bit because it has antibacterial properties and um, it works on dandruff so that way all the fungal or the bacterial infections or anything that you have on your scalp gets cleared. And now after having a good massage for almost 6 to 7 minutes I'm gonna be tying my hair into a bun and I will leave it for almost 20 minutes and then I'll wash my hair as usual. Now let's move on to shampoos. So the shampoo what I personally use right now is from Body Shop. It's the ginger shampoo which is an anti-dandruff shampoo. I have tried a lot and lot of brands which target dandruff and stuff but nothing have ever helped me so far to reduce my uh, dandruff and itchiness of my scalp. So the only shampoo which I currently use is uh, ginger shampoo from Body Shop and that is the only shampoo which helps me in um, cleaning my scalp entirely but it is very drying for the hair I would definitely tell you guys that it is super drying if you apply it on your hair but for the scalp it is definitely worth it so I make sure that I put this uh, shampoo only on my scalp and I also double cleanse that is first time I apply it on my scalp massage it to remove all the oils and the other dirt on my hair and later I put again the same shampoo to actually work on for dandruff. So the second time when I'm using the shampoo, I just make sure that I keep it on for like three to four minutes before washing it so that it will reflect on, you know, anti-dandruff properties of the shampoo. Also guys, there is a big myth that, you know, shampoos will make your hair uh, soft or shiny or smooth. Trust me, that is not the case. Shampoos are only meant to cleanse the hair and it does not do anything other than that. Just like how soaps are meant to clean, the same thing is with shampoo. It just cleanses the hair. It cannot do anything other than that. So no matter if your shampoo claims that it's going to have, uh, you know, onion juice or um, ringraj, amla or whatever, the main property of the shampoo is only to cleanse your hair and not do anything other than that. Now let's move on to conditioners. So it's been a really long time since I stopped using conditioners. So I feel conditioners are just not enough for my super dry hair. So I prefer using deep conditioning masks instead of the conditioners. So I personally love the Mama Earth Argan Oil um, mask i use it every time after i wash my hair 
so if you don't have really dry hair like me then you can use it once in a week or even once in two weeks that's more than enough but since my hair is super dry i really can't go without it so whenever i apply that mask i make sure that i leave it on my hair for at least 10 minutes before i wash it off so that way my hair is a little more manageable than it used to be so after i wash my hair um, when my hair is almost 70 percent wet I use the Moroccan oil smoothing lotion on my hair as a leave-in conditioner. So I take almost two pumps for one side and I apply it all over my hair except the scalp. So I don't apply it on my scalp because that way my hair is going to be all flat. So I just make sure that I apply it on the lower two-thirds of my hair. Also I use a lot of heat on my hair. so. I use the Tony and Guy heat protecting mist on my hair before styling. So usually I don't blow dry my hair. So instead I just let it air dry and once it is dry I use my straightener to just straighten all the frizz. So if you want to know how I do it then I have a video on it. You can click on the i card on top so that you can watch that video on how I style my hair. So that's it you guys. These are all the things that I follow to maintain my hair. I hope you guys found it useful. Please let me know if you have any queries and I'll try to answer them. Don't forget to comment below if you have any doubts or queries. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.